Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the grumpy bookstore owner problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 1052. So in this problem, we are given with a bookstore owner that has a store open for n minutes and every minute some number of customers enter the bookstore. We are given with an integer array customers array of length n where the customer of i is the number of customers that enter the store at ith minute and all those customers that enter at the ith minute leave after that particular minute. That means one minute. So every customer stays in the store for only one minute. Now on some minutes, the bookstore owner is grumpy and we are given a binary and a grumpy of i and if grumpy of i is zero, that means the bookstore owner is grumpy during the ith minute. Otherwise, if it is zero, that means the bookstore owner is not grumpy. And when the bookstore owner is grumpy, all the customers that enter the store at that particular time are not satisfied. And if they enter in the period when the bookstore owner is not grumpy, they are satisfied. But there is a catch in the problem that the bookstore owner knows a secret technique to keep themselves grumpy for minutes, consecutive minutes, but it can on use only once. So we have to return the maximum number of customers that can be satisfied throughout the day. So there is a magic factor along with, uh, with the bookstore owner that he can he can be non grumpy for a particular consecutive minutes. Now the main factor or the main challenge of the question is to use when to use this non grumpy period to maximize the number of satisfied customers. So let's see how we are going to approach the problem. First of all, the first step will be like what we can do. We can simply calculate the number of customers that are satisfied in the non grumpy part like first of all we will calculate when when the customers enter and the bookstore owner is not grumpy we can simply calculate the satisfied number of satisfied customers in that particular period then in the next step we will calculate how many extra can be satisfied when we apply the magic technique used by the bookstore owner so let's see through the, through the first example given here so we have done it for the first example using tables so you can see whenever the bookstore owner is not grumpy we have calculated the satisfied satisfied customers and when he is grumpy we have put it zero so in this way the initial maximum satisfied customers becomes 10 so now the next step becomes to calculate the maximum extra what we can satisfy using that technique so if we use a technique in the window 0 to 2 we get zero extra customers in in the window one to three we get two extra customers two to four we get zero three to five we get three four to six we get one extra customer five to seven we get six extra customers so the maximum extra customers what we can get is six here so that means that will be the maximum extra customers so in the in the last step we simply return the result as the sum of initial satisfaction what we have calculated plus the maximum extra satisfaction that we have got. So 10 plus 6 is the answer 16 and 52 ohms is the answer. So <clears throat> this is how we are going to do the problem. Now let's come to the coding part of the problem. But before that do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So the first step was to calculate the initial initial satisfaction and uh, we also have to calculate a max extra satisfaction and we need the current window satisfaction as well so for that we take a current now after that we'll iterate over the customers array and if he is grumpy if he is not grumpy we'll sum it to the initial satisfaction And uh, otherwise what we can do, we can simply apply the first window here itself. 
so if i is less than minutes we apply the first window here and in the current in the current we have taken as current so we will add it in the current customers of i so that that window which we were seeing 0 to 2 this window this this window we have already applied here here itself in the first loop as this part if i is less than that now now we can use this current part to compare with the other windows so max extra till now becomes current window and now we can use this max extra to compare with the other windows so we start from minutes because we have already taken we have already taken the first window now here what we are going to do is current plus equal to customers of i and we can simply multiply it with the grumpy part and we have to subtract the we have to subtract the first element of the previous window because when we shift the window the first element of the previous window is eliminated and a new element is added to the current window that's why we have to eliminate that part so that's why we'll be doing a minus of customer of i minus minutes and into grumpy grumpy of i minus minutes so we have re removed the first element of the previous window and the max extra becomes max dot max max extra till now or in the current and after this we can simply return our initial plus max extra let's try to run it for the sample test cases so this will be customers of i this will be also customers of i customers customers yes so accepted for the sample test cases let's run for the hidden test cases as well so passes with the good time complexity and a good memory complexity let's talk about the time complexity as well so the time complexity for this solution is o of n because we are do running only one loop till the customers of length so the co time complexity becomes o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space so that is a good thing this is a optimized approach now you can also check my solutions by going into the solutions panel and checking this solution this solutions contain the intuition approach complexity step by step explanation the java code c++ python javascript and yes do remember to upvote me so i hope you understood the logic do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day